Well, hey there, Cecilia, your engineer by education, home business owner by desire. And yes, this is my very first video for 2019. Happy uh, New Year, everybody. Yes, I had a rough 2018, and for those of you who know, and it ended off with the death of my father. Hi, Kimberly, how you doing? Um, so this is my first video, and I'm doing this video because so many people are flocking to home businesses because of the government shutdown. So I thought, how fitting is it? Um, and people have also reached out to me as well. So I was like, well, you know what? Today's video is going to be about now you want to start a home business? I bet you do, okay? Um, because we've got FBI agents looking at private security gigs like government FBI agents looking to work private security. We've got air traffic controllers driving for Uber. I am so sad and my heart goes out to everybody that is impacted by the government shutdown. And it doesn't just impact those who actually work directly for the government because they're not getting a paycheck. The government contractors, hey Felisa, the government contractors will never see this money again. Those people who clean the offices or those contract jobs, whatever they may be. Um, and then then the impact to the families, you know, there are people who may, both of them may work for the government, or even if just one of them does and one of them doesn't, losing a whole paycheck, that's huge. And let's not talk about the impact to their families if they take care of somebody elderly or the children for the activities they can't participate in or the things those families can't provide. So now you want to start a home-based business? I bet you do. All right, so I know you can hear me because I've got Felisa and Kimberly on here commenting, so thank you. I'm just going to get this shared in a couple of places. And today's question, yes, today's question. This is um, a pre-event question, and it's a contest. So my question for you today, since we're on the home-based business, how many people join a network marketing company every day in the United States? Yep, that's my question. In the United States, how many people join a network marketing company in the United States? So I'm having an event on Tuesday the 29th, and it's at 2 p.m. or 7 p.m., depending on which time you can attend, Eastern. And um, with this event, it's Get Your Money Right for 2019. It's a workshop. And some of the things that I'm going to share with you in this workshop, I'm going to um, tell you the secret of getting more or from your paycheck if you're getting one or when the government opens up again. You how to use what you have to get what you want. We are going to talk about, oh goodness, let me get this shared. I'm still running my mouth. <laughs> we are going to talk about how to, um, look, I've been gone from Facebook so long, I don't even know how to share events anymore. You know I'm a sad state of affairs. Um, and look, it's not even showing up on my phone, so I have to share it live after the video. We're going to talk about how to complete, um, accurately fill out your W-4. No more of um, adding more deductions because you're getting a bonus or you need some more money and then dropping it back down again when you get over whatever financial hump you have. We're going to talk about how to fill it out so it stays stable across the board every single time. We're going to talk about credit, credit, and why having good credit is so important and why not having credit can actually screw you over. So those are just a few of the topics we're going to talk about on Tuesday the 29th at the Get Your Mind Right event. But most importantly, um, Answer the question, how many people join a network marketing company in the United States every year? Um, the person, first one who gets the answer right to that question, your prize will be your social media content calendar. I will send you a social media content calendar, which will tell you exactly what to post every day for all of 2019. That's right. No more guessing. No more being like, oh, I don't know, or what should I say, or those days are gone for 2019 because I'm going to give you a calendar and you'll know what to post every day. So that is the prize for today's question. And this is question prizes that I'm posting leading up to my big event at the event for everyone who attends live. Well, look, I just forgot to post. Look, you know, I am so out of practice. All right. So let me post the link to the event. So that way you have it. So you can attend for everyone who attends my event live. There will be prizes to be had. And um, there will be things such as mini vacations, business consultations. You will be able to, um, gosh, we got so much stuff on the works. Let's see, you'll be able to win a social media calendar if you don't win it this time. You'll get social media images. Um, did I mention mini vacations? So there will be prizes and giveaways for those who attend this event live. All right, so once again, last time on the question. 
today's pre-event question. How many people join a network marketing um, business every day in the United States? And the first one with the right answer or the closest answer will win today's prize of a social media content calendar. You can have it either in Excel or a PDF format where it will tell you what to post for every day of 2019. All right, so let's talk about, so you want a home business. So I think it's great that you're looking at this because like I said, with the state of affairs we got going on in this country, if you don't secure another form of income, you are just bananas. There's no way that you should be wholly and solely dependent. Ah, finally I got it, okay, cool. Um, but I'm forgetting everything I've been gone for so long. If you're watching me for the first time, give me a five in the comments. If you've seen me before, give me a fist bump or a wave. And if you miss me, say, welcome back. All right. So with that being said, um, let me get this shared now that my phone wants to cooperate. Um, let's see. Share. Learn slowly but surely. I'm getting back in the saddle. So um, some of the reasons, well, some of the top five reasons why, look, now my mouse don't want to work. I'm telling you, I'm having all kinds of issues today. Some of the reasons why people join a home-based business is economic uncertainty. I'm sure people in December, when they were doing their Christmas shopping and all that fun stuff that we do around the holidays, had no idea that they would be going on 32 days, I believe, without a paycheck. That's a scary thought for anybody, 32 days without a paycheck. Um, economic uncertainty. Number two, job uncertainty. So when you think of the economy, I mean, there's 800, over 800,000 people that are either not working or working for free because of the government shutdown. That's huge. But then when you think about the jobs, how many companies closed down or downsized in 2018? Um, we lost some Kmarts. We lost some Macy's. We lost some Targets. We totally lost Toys R Us. No more Toys R Us kids, people. Um, and that was the that was the thing. If you are, if anybody remembers being a Toys R Us kid, give me a one in the comments because I was a Toys R Us kid. So that's huge. So even if the economy didn't impact you because you don't work for the government, you're still worried about your job. I was talking to a friend yesterday. Sprint. There's talks about Sprint merging with T-Mobile. Well, anytime two companies merge together, you can't have dual people doing the same job, right? So that means some of those people are going to be dropped off think about that um let's see we got a new comment oh i was supposed to pin my comment look i'm so new to this thank you for thank you for putting up with me i promise you i'm gonna get better because i'm gonna do it more um let's see here can i pin my comment oh yeah oops shoot look i am doing the most today let me try this again there we go all right so yeah so um Sprint is merging with T-Mobile. So that means there's going to be some layoffs going on there because you can't have multiple people doing the same jobs. So if you are not planning for um, secondary income, then you're planning for being broke, basically. There was a lady on the news yesterday, and she was saying how last month it wasn't nothing for her to buy $300 in groceries, and now she's going to food pantries. Like real talk, people, you should always have a plan B. Even myself, when I got called into the office on March 22nd and informed on March 23rd of 2018, I wasn't going to have a job. Luckily, I had a, I won't say a golden parachute, but I had a safety net. It's all about having a safety net. And your safety net isn't your savings. And the reason why it's not your savings is because if you keep pulling stuff out, then eventually your safety net's going to go away. Your safety net needs to be a form of income that's bringing in money, not losing money. So let's talk about a home business once again. So we talked about two of the reasons. A third reason, debt. People are in debt and their jobs aren't paying for their debt. So that's pretty big because basically you spend more than you make. So two things are wrong with that equation. One, you need to better manage your money. And two, you need to know how to use what you have to pay down your debt, which is one of the things we're going to talk about in the workshop next Tuesday. Remember to join the event, click the link. It's at the top of this um, thread because I just pinned it. So you can get registered and be there, get some of them DOI prizes. But basically you got debt and you need another job. Um, Uber's good, but we just had this winter storm blow through. Who wants to be an um, Uber driver or a Lyft driver taking people around in this mess, jeopardizing your life and theirs, driving in inclement weather? And I know there's plenty of people that are doing it, and I'm not knocking those who are, but I'm already scary Mary on the highway. I do not need the extra stress and aggravation of 
inclement weather. But if that's my job, I don't have a choice, right? So um, let's see, what else is going on that I wanted to talk about? Once again, don't forget the pre-event question. It is in the description of this video. First one to answer right wins the social media calendar. All right, so that is number three. Number four, why do people join network marketing businesses? Because they are easy to start up. It's easy in some instances to get going in terms of building your team. And it has a higher rate of success than if you were to go out and try to buy a franchise, Subway, McDonald's, um, Starbucks or whatever. So it has a higher rate of success than if you try to get into a brick and mortar franchise. So that's another reason. And then the low startup costs. Most network marketing companies you can get into for $200 or less. And the, um, the situation with network marketing has evolved to where you don't have to be in a product-based MLM anymore. There are tons of marketing network marketing companies out there that don't require you to be on a monthly auto ship, that do not require you to make a list of all your friends, families, um, and neighbors and harass them. There are tons of network marketing companies that give you the opportunity to build your business online, which makes it so attractive for a lot of people. And quite frankly, that's what I do every day. Haven't worked a day, traditional job since March 22nd of 2018. And by the grace of God, the blood of Jesus, I am still here to tell my tale. All right. So that's why you want to be at that workshop so you can understand the tools, tips, tactics and strategies that I've been using to maintain my independence and be solvent in spite of a job. All right. So what is the next reason? The next reason that we have um, automation. A lot of jobs, especially labor jobs, are being replaced. Not 100%, but you know that's the direction of the world. That's the way things are going. Hell, they're getting ready to cut back on delivery drivers and have drones start delivering your packages to your door. If you got a drone, you don't need a driver, right? So if you are in a low-skilled job, I understand um, there are tons of them out there, but be prepared that you might be phased out for automation. So those are just some of the reasons why people start a home business. But why are they really aggressively looking now? Because of the government shutdown, because of the over 800,000 people that are not getting a paycheck for the whole month of January. That's a sad state of affairs because of the people that don't have a sufficient amount of savings to sustain their family because they need to find a better way because thinking you, the government is like the best job ever, kind of like back in the day when they talk about, oh, you got to have a job at the post office. Well, guess what? It's not all it's cracked up to be, you know? So if you're not creating your own economy, you are setting yourself up for failure. And even if you're not impacted by the government shutdown, you should still be creating your own economy because you never know what will happen with your job or with your company. And as long as you have your own safety net, you won't fall hard because you'll save yourself. So now you want to start a home business? I bet you do. So if you're interested in finding out more information on how to get your money right for 2019, make sure you attend the workshop. The link is in the top comment on this post so you can get registered. It's next Tuesday, January 29th. You can either be there at 2 p.m. or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can win the first prize offering that I have for today. How many people join a network marketing company every day in the United States? The first one to answer that question or get closest to it We'll get a prize. Thank you for watching this video with all my flubs and everything else. I'm getting back in the groove, so I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you, Felicia. And thank you to those that jumped on but didn't leave a comment. If you are watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. As you watch the replay, drop some comments. Give me some hearts, some likes, some shares even if you want to let me know that you do appreciate the value. Uh, what is my new phrase for 2019? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? All right. I'm Cecilia, your engineer by education, home business owner by desire. I hope to see you at the workshop next Tuesday. Click the link to get registered so we can get your money right for 2019. Don't forget the prize question.